Yo, what's up guys? Premi the Remy in the house, bringing you guys part 17 of our Sonic Runners playthrough. In the last part, we played episode 29, parts 1 and 2 of that episode, and in this part we're going to do episode 30, and if there's time I'm going to do episode 31. So let's get into this. Episode 30, Bring on the Dawn. The sun has stopped rising in Cocky's part of the forest. Oh really, the sun can choose in which areas it wants to rise? Okay. So there's nothing to crow at. Do something. And I think they're making up dilemmas out of thin air now. Seriously? Wake up, Cocky. It's nearly lunchtime. Cuckoo? Cuckoo? I hardly ever hear you crowing in the morning anymore. What's going on with you? Cook, cook, cook. Eggman's hilltop factory is blocking out all the sun. Oh no, that's not good at all. Hey, Kirky. Hey, Elmo Chow. What's up with you guys? Hey, Sonic. Listen, we need your help. Eggman's built a factory on top of a nearby hill and is blocking out all the light in the mornings. Well, we can't have that. Don't worry. We'll take care of that factory and have the sun shining again in no time. Cookie says you should follow him. He knows a safe route to the factory. So really? So we're gonna punish Eggman just because his building is covering the shade? Then I'm gonna get Sonic to punish the construction workers outside my flat because they're making too much noise. Anyway. I'm just glad to be back to a speed level. It looks like I've already got Sonic and SBO equipped, so that's cool. Now all we need to do is utilize... What was it? The pumpkin? That's a fly type, though. I might just use Chip again. I like Chip. And then keep the boost distance run by 2-2. Two, two. Actually, let me, let me use um the pumpkin child as my second companion. I might go back to the egg child if I feel like I'm missing it. But, you know... Actually, no, I'm going to use the air child because they're both speed types and then I'll go back to the pumpkin child for a fly level. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I guess we're good to go. Let's start episode 30. Equip ourselves with sub character. We've got Sonic and SPO, so let's go. That factory is blocking the sunlight. Help us. Alright, back to Sonic gameplay. Still my favorite gameplay in this game. Even though it looks like green and emerald hills are reincarnated, which I feel like they've done so many times, I still feel like the Sonic gameplay is the best. And the Sonic stage is the best. But, you know, you guys can always let me know what you think in the comments below. I always reply. I mean, unless you're like really mean or something, in which case I probably won't reply. But yeah, I always go through my comments. Ooh, I sped up real nice. Almost like I was at top speed already. Okay, I'm back to regular speed now. Oh, just so much. This feels so much more satisfying, so much more relaxing, relieving to actually be playing these Eggman sections as a speed character who can freaking triple jump, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't realize how triple jump was so crucial to this game until I started using other characters. I was like, really? Do they need triple jump for Sonic? You know, but I guess they do. Nice, yes, I'm really happy that I'm using Sonic again. There we go. I feel like I'm already playing better. Yup. Wait, I didn't do the final trick. Damn. Alright. Next time we'll do it. Okay. Next time is right now. That's how it's done. Alright. I think so far so good. Yep. Oof, dodge those missiles like a boss. Nice. 
Man, they are just being anal with the missiles right now. Alright, so we're at the second egg, man. Still got three more lifelines. Actually, no, we've got more than three lifelines. We've got... Whoops. Whoa, I was thinking about the lifelines, I blanked out. We've got Chip. Chip, I mean, Chip is kind of a lifeline. He boosts your score for about 15 seconds. Not really a full lifeline. Let's give him, let's call him a half lifeline. So we've got half a lifeline with Chip. And then we've got Revive with... Um, hey, now let's do it in order. So after Diana Sonic, we go to Espios. So that's our first lifeline. Then we use Chip. That's our half lifeline. So that's one and a half. Then we revive with the Red Ring and get Sonic again. So that's at two and a half. Then we use Espio again. And then we use Chip again. So that's three full lifelines. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa. I was doing so well. I was actually doing really good. I just messed it up in two seconds. Yeah, I, I kind of blanked out. I really want to level up Chip though, because on full level ups he gets 40 seconds and that's just going to be super OP. That way it will help me get nice scores and stuff. What if all the missiles are secretly Drill Wisps? Just out to get Sonic or something, like evil drills. Anyway, this is our third Eggman, which means top speed. It's guaranteed. I don't think it's actually physically possible to die in this section for using a speed character. Ooh, red ring, red ring, red ring. There we go. Now let's rape Eggman right now. Ugh. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. Wee's on a roll right now. Alright. We're going top speed now. It's on. It's on. I don't care. I'm not gonna jinx it. Let's go to high route. Yeah. All right. Let me just make sure I get this, or else I'm dead. Ooh. Literally, I had no rings because I was top speed. So if I got that cannon part wrong, I was instantly dead. Ooh. I was hoping I could kind of jump on that ramp just as I landed on it, you know, and just show off some skills, you know. That would have been a really cool thing to pull off, and I could like show off about it, but yeah, it didn't happen. Alright, we're on top speed and we're still going strong, and we still got one more lifeline. Alright. Ooh, near death experience. Alright. We're still quite far away from the fourth Eggman though, but I guess the possibility of the fourth Eggman happening has definitely increased, you know. Because the fourth Eggman is at 6,000 meters, and we're about to hit 5,000. Ooh, damn. Even if we don't make it, we got pretty close. I mean, like, oh, ooh, I was about to land those spikes. I was close. Even if we don't make it, we're quite close though. Six thousand, we're at five thousand three hundred. Ooh. How am I? How do I dodge that? That's impossible. The game is too rigged, man. Seriously, what was that? But we were close to the fourth egg, man. You can see that. I'm thinking we might even get a million points this time. I don't want to jinx it, but... You know, I promised you guys I was going to show you a million points, so... What? My ring points were good, my animal points... Oh, because I didn't get... I know what it is now, I know what's affecting the points. It's the root bonus. Because if I had stayed at the high road, I would have gotten a root bonus of 50% or 100%. Which means that I would have gotten 
you know, this score times 1.5 or this score times 2, which would have been a lot. You know, I'm not going to calculate it, but it would have been a lot. So what I need to do now, I've learned my lesson. For me to get a super high score, I need to always stay at the top. I mean, I mean, I always did try and stay at the top, but I didn't really try, try. I just thought of it as a bonus thing. But now that I know it's really important, I'm going to try harder to stay at the top. Even if it may kill me. Anyway, on a secret path through the forest. Watch out, it's an egg pond. Looks like Eggman's got this place well guarded. Really, an egg pond is well guarded? Well guarded would be like those hammer robots in the last few levels of Sonic Heroes. Ooh, those robots were annoying. Cook, cook, cook. Cocky says you'll be all right if you're sneaking along this path. Great, nice and quiet now, guys. Two thousand rings. All right, so we just completed our mission, so we get two signs. Yeah. There we go. And we're almost two and a half. Well, not two and a half, we're almost halfway through this episode map and now it's just in one run so I think I'm going to equip the score bonus and the cyan and the drill and the combo bonus because my plan is to um, finish this episode map in this next run so I need to try as hard as possible to make that I mean we did the first one, that took us to almost halfway so if we can just do really well in this run, plus, you know, staying on the top routes, like we just figured out, then we can easily make it straight to the end of this episode, map. That being said, I don't know if there's two sections to this episode, because they don't really tell you. So if it's only one section, then we'll be done pretty quickly, meaning there'll probably be time for another episode. But if not, then we'll just have to do the second part of this episode, and then end it off on one episode fully for this part of the video. I might sound confusing with all the episodes and the part of the episode and the part of the playthrough and all that, but you know I can clear it up for you guys in the comments if you if you need me to. But I mean it's not too confusing. It's just there's parts for the playthrough, and this is part I think 17. Then there's the episodes, which is episode 30. And then the episodes sometimes have individual sections, like one or two. So far I think it's only gone as far as two. Maybe there was one that went to three, I'm not sure. Alright, that's the drill whistle that we had, that we equipped. So as I was saying before, I need to try extra hard to get on, on these higher routes because those root bonus points are more crucial than I thought. I really should have picked an asteroid or something because that way I could have gone much higher. The drill really doesn't let you get too high. Alright. Whoa! This is what happens when I try and take the high road, literally. That's why those times that I didn't go too far, but I took the high road, I got more points. Literally, the high road gave me so many bonus points that it didn't matter that I didn't get as far as I usually do. Because I guess the high road is harder. That is a common thing in Sonic games. Oh, I hit him all on the spring. That's cool. Alright, let's whack him again. Nice try, but the spring ain't gonna touch this. I'm untouchable right now. Whoops. Alright. Time was up. That was our second speed up. Alright. Alright, I need to get to the high road now. Alright, let's begin high roading. You see, every time I try high roading, that's what I'm going to call it now because that's the best way to describe it quickly. You know, I can make up words because, I mean, I always make up words. If I make up a word and I think it's fun, I'll use it. So, yeah, every time I try high roading, it doesn't go too well. But I'm going to try and improve at it so I can get these bonus points. 
And an asteroid is the best way to do that. Yeah. And it just took me right back to the bottom, so maybe I was wrong. Ooh, nice! Oh god, I'm doing ter It's a terrible run. This is a terrible run. This is actually a terrible run. Let's at least try and take the high road for as much time as we've got left. You know, get some bonus points. I don't know how long you have to stay on the high road to get the, the bonus, but... Alright, there's some high road here, so let's take that. As terrible as this run was, we still did make it to top speed, so... Even my terrible runs are better than they were before, so I guess that's something to be kind of proud of, you know. We've come a long way since the first part. There we go. Alright, the Eggman section is over. We are going to top speed yet again. I remember how we used to struggle to hit top speed so many times. Now it's just like expected from me now. Alright. Let's try and stay up top. Yeah, here we go. The gold enemies. That's where all the points are. Ooh. That means I'm probably going to have to go one more time before I complete the episode. And I was so close as well. I mean, I might get lucky and not have to go again, but I doubt it. Even though I did try a bit harder with the roots. But we'll see what happens. Oh, that was a decent score, and we didn't even have a root bonus. Alright. Well, I think we're still going to have to go one more time. Oh, I think we got a better score because we used the score bonus, which cost 6,000 rings. Nevertheless, further along the secret path through the forest, it's an egg barn. Coo -coo -coo. This path will get you there safely, Cucky says. Cool, let's keep a low profile and try not to get sp snap. Blast, I stepped on a twig. Really, a twig? Is that it? Really, the egg pawns are not that smart. Those egg pawns are asleep in Sonic Heroes until you're like a meter away from them. Huh? That egg pawn didn't notice her. Thank you, I was right. I don't know what happened there. We don't have time to worry about it. Let's keep going. Invincibility. And as you can see, we were really close to finishing this episode in two runs. Hopefully I don't waste too much time. I'm not even going to equip a sub-character for this. Because I'm running out of rings. I think that the amount of points needed is so small that we can just do it without a sub-character. Hopefully even without a continue save me some red star rings as well that's actually a good thing to try out you know because we've got so many lifelines we don't actually know what our one time score is maybe it's, this is the time to see how far I can go without any lifelines see what kind of score I can get without not a single lifeline so yeah I'm going to do that for you guys right now just Sonic no sub character oh yeah I still got chip though I forgot about that but I guess companions don't really count because we're supposed to equip them, really. I need to pay attention to these combo bonuses more as well. All these little things to get points that I haven't been executing properly. Here we go. You don't actually get points for hitting Eggman in these sections. I just noticed. I was looking at the score. You don't get any points. Alright, so that's over. Now, even though we've got no lifelines, I'm going to try 
I will stay in the high roads. Every time I try and stay in the high roads, I get effed over. Alright. Alright. Hopefully we're gonna get this root bonus, because I mean we've been at the high road for some time now. Ramp it up! Oh, nice, yes. They should put, you know, I was thinking about this. They should put rails in, in Sonic Runners, you know, for certain sections, just to spice it up a bit. And you can, and then they'll probably just like, put mines on the rails, so you just have to jump off the rail to avoid the mines and stuff. That could be something cool they could add, like a separate zone. I mean, since they've already ripped off Windy Hill Zone, Green Hill Zone, Emerald Hill Zone, pretty much every Sonic Hill Zone. And they ripped off, um, I think that's it. I don't know what else they ripped off. Maybe some other things or some for the other stages, but since they've already done that, they might as well rip off, like, Final Rush or Rail Canyon or something. You know, make a rail stage. Ooh, I actually didn't lose my rings there. I was for sure certain that that was going to happen there. Alright, I don't see any higher roots right now. Okay, there we go. Let's take the high road and get those root bonus points because that's what we need. Because you've got no lifelines, it feels like we're playing better right now. You know, maybe the, the knowing that there's no backup is just making me try harder. I don't know. If only I could take that and apply that to, um, you know, having actually having lifelines, and that way I could get a better score. But yeah, it's kind of annoying though when people say things like that, you know? Like, let's say you're really into, like, football or soccer, as the Americans say. And then you're like, you, you play it really well, but you're not doing too well in school. Then teachers are like, if you could take that same motivation and energy you have for like football and apply that to your education, you'd get good marks. I'm like, no, I'm not going to take the same motivation from something that's actually fun and then apply it to something boring like school. You know, it's kind of like, no, thank you. But anyway, wow, I'm not close to setting a new high school. Damn. I knew the root thing was helping, but no, I'm not going to do it because we'll do it next time. Once we've got the sub characters again, hopefully the next episode will be a speed type. But we've got more than enough points to complete this episode, so that's cool. In the shadow of Dr. Eggman's factory. Oh man, it sure gets boring looking after this place all by myself. I mean, at least there's no chance of Sonic showing up all the way out here. Oh, okay, cute, but so innocent. But it's still kinda dull. We'll play with you if you're bored, Cuba. Eh, Sonic! No wonder the eggplants are slacking off. If you're in charge, <laughs> Oh, Tails hitting Cuba with the death lines. Listen, Cuba, this factory is blocking the light from Kaki's part of the forest, and we can't let that stand. Literally. Um, I don't think there's anything I could do to stop you, is there? I'm out of here. See ya. He got away again. Okay, guys, let's lay this factory low and bring Sunrise back to the forest once more. Another rhyme. Baka, baka. Thanks, Sonic. Now, Cucky will know when to crow in the mornings, and the rest of the animals will be will be able to wake up on time. Because alarm clocks don't exist in Mobius. Anyway, we've got 6,000 rings. And we got... Ooh, 30 red star rings. That's good, that's good. And our rank has increased to rank 40. Ooh, 
challenge tokens are stored, score bonus increased. Wow, so I think we're coming up to what, 26 minutes? Yeah, we're gonna do another episode. You know, what the hell. Episode 31, after that emerald, Flicky comes to speak to Knuckles, and he's all a flutter. A flutter? What the, what the hell does that mean? Eggman's after the Master Emerald. Alright? Cheap cheap. Wait, is that the regular Flicky or is that the Flicky with the makeup on? Because those cheeks are looking a bit, I don't know. Hey Flicky, what's up? What did you just say? What's the matter, Knuckles? It's Eggman. That punk's been trying to steal the Master Emerald. This is bad, guys. We gotta stop him. And fast! Where's the Master Emerald right now, Knuckles? Well, I hid it in a temple surrounded by lava. Okay, then that's where we're headed. So we are back to the Knuckles levels. So. So. I was gonna say something. So. We are going to. Switch F the characters. Where's Vector? I thought I lost him for a sec. We're gonna utilize Knuckles as our main character. And because it's a power type stage, we're gonna have Vector as our sub character. Alright, and I think our companions are good. So yeah, I wanna do this as quickly as possible, so I'm just gonna go all out and get this wait the score boost is only 10% you know what let me just let me go back where's that score boosting companion that was um let me see let's try this one out since saving animals apparently gives us a lot of points and this one claims to boost it by 80% or even 85% because the types match let's try that out and keep the boost distance run yeah Let's see if that helps our score a bit. And then we're gonna equip the sub character. And we've got so many signs. Let's use a sign, let's use a asteroid, and let's use a combo bonus. Alright, let's go. We have to get that master emerald back. Come on, guys. Oh yeah, something else I realized about Knuckles when I was playing Sonic Runners on the iPad of my friend is that um, Knuckles actually can triple jump. I know I said earlier that it kind of sucked that the way he played because you could only like jump and then glide once, which is like less jumps than Sonic and Tails and all that. But it turns out you can jump, glide, and then jump again. So it's still kind of like a triple jump kind of thing, more like a jump glide jump thing but yeah something I recently noticed so let me just show you guys right now jump glide jump it may have been something that I did do by accident so you know it may have looked like I knew what I was doing but I really didn't know I was doing that I thought maybe I was just getting lucky or something but yeah you can triple jump essentially and that does help with the Eggman sections as well and I said that after I just missed Eggman, of course. How terrible of me. Anyway, our first knuckle speed up. Got ourselves an asteroid from our equipped items. And I almost forgot, we're still trying to get the root bonus, so we need to stay up top. Man, these asteroids last really long though. I keep forgetting that the ones you equip actually last much longer than the ones you find in game and I think I just hit another one which means I basically extended the time I saw we've been asteroiding for ages nice nice alright let's try and stay on the high road and get the, that root bonus score whoops Woof. Actually, it's still kind of harder to get on the top route with the power characters, though. Even though they can triple jump, because their second jump is kind of a push forward and not really a push upwards. 
which is why I don't think it's a full triple jump, but it's still better than what I thought it was. As soon as I get to a higher platform, then we're back down for the second Eggman. Just my luck. Anyway. There we go. Play it safe. I don't want to risk losing my rings at this section by trying to rush. Oh, come on. Come, come, come seriously on. Alright, now it's the second speed up, which means the missiles start to hit you a bit more. And I just lost rings. I need rings. Oh, God. Here we go. We're using Vector now. If only I could get some rings. Ooh. Oh, God. Yeah, we're going to continue. Not really the amount of Vector gameplay I wanted to show. I mean, we have shown it before in the Team Chaotix um, video that I did. I think that was part 13. I've forgotten the number. We showed all, all the Team Chaotix characters, but I still want to show each Team Chaotix character in their natural habitat, which is why I want to show Vector off here. Maybe I did do it in a previous recording and I've forgotten, but, you know, my memory is not the best because, I mean, I'm on part 17 now. And there's like 50 episodes in this game, so... Forgive me if I don't remember every single detail. Oh god, oh god. Hopefully we've got some root bonus to help us out there. Alright, so no root bonus. Just amazing. Whoa, a super egg bar. Leave it to me, pal. Eggman must be deploying super egg pawns in this area for a reason. Well, whatever it is, he's gonna regret it. They're all gonna get whooped. <laughs> Thousand rings. And clearly we didn't make it far at all. You know, I'm gonna try something which may or may not backfire, I'm not sure. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make Knuckles the sub character. And I'm gonna try using Sonic as the main. Using Sonic and a Knuckles, because I really think the triple jump is just so much more helpful than Knuckles' moves. And since I'm doing that, I should use a different thingy my thing. Let me see. No, not that. Yes, I want to boost score. And the egg child boost distance run. When they say if types match, do they mean if the type matches the character? As in speed type to, to Sonic or to the actual level? Like this is a Knuckles level, so a power level. I don't know. But yeah, let's go for the sub character. So we're going to try Sonic and see if we can play the Knuckles levels better at Sonic. And if that's the case, we're going to start using Sonic and SP a lot more in these power levels. Because these are probably the hardest levels right now. Sonic's being the easiest, of course. I, I just think a triple jump is always going to be the best. Oof. I was about to be proven wrong there, oof. I guess that's why I equipped Knuckles as the sub-character, just in case I was wrong. But I mean, with Sonic, I'm sure we'll be able to get up the higher routes much better. Nice! Yep, see, we're already at the top routes. I'm already thinking this is better. But let's not, let's not call it too soon. Let's... Let's wait until we get to like secondary speed level or maybe even top speed. I mean, even though at top speed everything is pretty much hard. Wow, 
Alright, looks like we've massacred Eggman enough. He's off now. We're speeding up for the first time. I stay on that high road because I need that root bonus. I don't know why it's not showing up. I've been trying to stay on the top road for so long on these, on these like past three or four runs. And yet, my root bonus isn't showing up. It seems to show up when I don't try to get it to show up. Yeah, I definitely think using Sonic. Oh god, I, I, I did it again. I caught it too soon. But yeah, I did like using Sonic on the Knuckle stages. I think it was easier to stay on the top route. Even though I did die quite prematurely, I mean... That could be a fluke. Oh, mid ability is so nice. Oh, I just... Oh, I was gonna hit the ramp. Oh, ooh, ooh, did you see that near-death experience there? Ooh. 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 Too many near-death experiences right now. It's not even funny. I should just play Sonic 1 as Eggman. Literally, just fly through the whole stage. I guess you still have to avoid the missiles though, but... I'll just shoot springs at them or something. <laughs> right? So this is our second speed up. We really didn't last too long on Sonic. But I'm still gonna try it one more time. Maybe maybe it's just a, a bad luck that time or something, you know. Because I really wanna just use Sonic a lot more. I just prefer the way the speed characters move. Whoops. Plus I actually had a shot at staying at the higher reach, sir. No, 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 no. It's not happening. That is not happening. I'm not allowing death right now. It's not an option. I'm a newborn baby. Death is not an option. <laughs> well, rings are a necessity right now. Where are they? There we go. Ooh, I could I should have been able to jump there. I don't know why I couldn't jump. You know, I'm gonna switch to Knuckles right now. Because I wanna save Sonic so I can try Sonic at top speed on a power stage and see if I can handle him better than Knuckles. So I don't wanna risk losing him now. I know you could say, well, Premi, if you lose him now, then how are you gonna handle him at top speed? But, you know, I think I might be able to. So I'm gonna switch to Knuckles for now and then wait for him to die on top speed and then try out Sonic at top speed. Nice. You know, when you actually hit Eggman with Knuckles' move, it's actually really nice to use. Alright. Top speed. And I'm already dead as Knuckles. So already we've lost a longer Sonic. But that was just because we just died within like two seconds of Knuckles, you know. Too early to call it, I guess. If I can make it to like 4,500 or something using Sonic, then I might consider using Sonic again. I was close. I, I, come on, I was, I was close. You know, I was, I was close. Yes, I got the root bonus! But the score was still kind of terrible. Wait, sometimes the root bonus shows below the rings section, but sometimes it shows below the distance run section. Does that mean there's like a root bonus for every single section? Meaning lots of multipliers that I'm not utilizing? I really need to look into this. If you guys have any insight on this, just you know, let me know in the comment section. 
But yeah, Sonic during the power stages doesn't really seem easier than using Knuckles. I don't know, maybe, I'm not sure. 2000 rings. And we're more than halfway now. Hopefully, one run could, f could finish this off, but no promises. Oh yeah, I just realized something. I've barely leveled up Knuckles. No wonder I'm not getting the same score bonuses. I mean, if you compare to like... Okay, I, I barely leveled up Tails as well, but if you compare to like Sonic, who I've leveled up a lot, I mean, that would explain some of the score differences. Let me give Knuckles one level up. Even though I'm kind of running out of rings right now. Um... Let me see. Oh, this is the RC monkey thing that we unlocked with that animal, that animal thing that we were doing before in the previous parts. But I think that thing expired on the 15th, which was yesterday. So I don't think we can do that anymore. But I haven't even tested that companion out yet. It's not, it's not even the best companion. It's not in the rare list because you can see they organize the companions by which ones are the best. And this is not really up there. It's not really on my to-do list. I mean, I will probably try it out later on, but right now, I need the best companions to get the best scores, so I'm probably going to stick to what I've got right now, which is, I think, boost distance run and boost score. So we are back to Knuckles and Vector. Alright, let's switch to Vector for a while, you know, we haven't done much Vector in this game. Ooh, I just missed the ramp, what was what, what was that? What's wrong with me? Nice! I actually got to the, the top route and I blew it, man, Ah. Oh. Man, the way Vector runs is just so cocky, like, yeah, yeah, you know. He just, I mean, I said this last time and then I died on the boss, so I don't want to say it again. But he does just look way more confident when he's running compared to, like, Knuckles. But then again, Knuckles is, like, the only power character who's tiny. I guess that's why they tried to correct that in Sonic Boom, but seriously, it was too late for that. We're too used to Knuckles the way he looked. You can't be making him lift weights and skipping leg day. But yeah, Vector's got some serious confidence when he runs. Whoops. I felt like I just ran into that. We're gonna need some rings to cure that. There we go. An abundance of rings is always better than no rings. Get that trick action. It looks like we just got ourselves a shield. That's gonna help us in getting a decent score. I'm hoping we can finish this episode in this run. We've got two more map points that we need to go through. Wait, so because I switched my character, I lost my invincibility. That is messed up, man. That is actually me- What, I can't switch characters and keep my power up? Right. That, well, that, that, I don't understand that. There we go. So, Vector actually uses his teeth to whack Eggman. That's actually quite epic if you think about it. The walking crocodile Vector. Alright, looks like we're done with this section. We are going to second level of speed. Bam! Oh, I missed all the dash rings. Whoops! Rings, 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 rings. Ooh. Ooh. All 
Alright. Alright. God, getting to the higher reach of this thing is just. is a futile. Alright. Points required to set a new high score. I guess we're doing alright. Maybe I did get a root bonus this time. Or maybe I got character bonus because I kept switching between the sub character and the main character. Who knows? Ooh, and the high road. Ooh, we got the ramp, we got the ramp. There we go, some points. Whoops. Every time I try and take the high road, I get messed up. Got no rings right now. Oh, that was close. Okay, we got rings. We're good, we're good. We are good, we are good. <coughs> Alright, we're still we're still good. We're still good. Okay, we're not good right now. We're not good right now. We need rings, we need rings. Oh well, we're already at the uh what's it called? The third egg man. The top speed is soon, which means we're gonna have no rings anyway. It's not gonna make a difference, so. Okay, jump, jump, bam, there we go, so much harder to hit him, these power characters man. Alright, top speed, I think I got a feeling that this score is going to be really good, alright, no more seeing, I need to focus. Invincibility, exactly what you need to be giving me right now. Yes! That's called good luck. That That's called the game actually wants me to succeed right now. Invincibility, yes. I love you, game. I hope it doesn't stop in the middle of running into like enemies or missiles or something and I just die. Because that's most likely what was going to happen. Nice! Nice! This is probably one of my best recordings on camera so far. And we still haven't used Vector yet. What? 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 I should have... I should have landed on the character. That's not right. Anyway. I think this is the closest we've actually... No, the second closest we've gotten to the fourth Eggman on camera. Oh, come on. That must have been a good score. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a good score. Whoa! That was painful. Ouch, that hurt. All those bonuses for nothing, man. It's like I keep getting lucky with these good scores. I don't know what I'm doing to get the good scores. I just get them sometimes and I can't recreate them. It's like there's like a bonus that I should be using, I'm not using it. Uh, g golden egg pawn. <sighs> it looks like Eggman's building up quite the robot army. I'm really worried about the Master Emerald. Come on, guys, we gotta hurry. Cost us a thousand rings. Combo bonus. Only 122,000 points to the end. I'm thinking we could do this in one run. So, should I use the sub character or not? I'm running out of rings, really. I need some rings. Um, let me take a look at my companions. I really feel like there's something else I could be using to get better points. Let me see. All items. Except color, power items, and shield. Um, nope. Let me see. I could use chip. Let me see the hero chow. What's that? Hero chaos. Boost rings acquired. Um, I don't know. I want something that's really gonna help. But everything down here is not as good. The rare stuff is up top. Looks like I'm missing this. That's the Akka. Oh, okay. Um. We're going to have to stick with what we got. 
boost distance run by 255. Boost score. For some reason, that boost score is not helping as much as I thought it was going to help. So, you know what? I'm just going to go back to using chip. Alright. And I'm probably going to... I need to save rings. I want to avoid the sub-character. Just use Knuckles and then revive myself with some red rings because I've got a lot of red rings right now. Alright, let's see how far we can get without a sub-character. Probably still revive ourselves with red... I don't know, maybe we won't because we only need like 100,000 points to get to the end of this map. And the video is already starting to hit like 50 minutes or something, so... If I, if I do quite decent without before the first death, then I might just end it off there and go straight to the boss. The only problem is I can't tell if I've got 100,000 points or not because the score here is a final. When the score says 100,000 here, it's probably like 500,000 in reality. How did I not hit that ramp? Come on, man. There we go. Oh, that was nice. I hit him every time, I think. First speed up. just want to stay at the top roots, man. Why wouldn't you guys let me hang with you guys at the top? Seriously, man. The top roots is like, like the top bunk bed at home, like, you know. The top bunk bed is just the best. Because it's above, you know. Right, yes. And we got a magnet. Oh, what? Don't play games with me. I wonder if that's enough points to actually end off. Or should I continue? I'm thinking I should continue. But I don't want to spend the red rings if I don't need to. Points required to set a new high score. Six points. Okay, then it's already enough points. Cool. Simple math got me out of that. Yeah, so this score's gonna be average, but we just need enough to get to the boss, and we've gotten that, so. Yeah, let's get to this boss. At the lava temple. This is where I hit the Master Emerald. Oh, Knuckles, I'm so glad you're here. This is a disaster. Huh? What's up, Armor Chow? Oh, let me guess, they've stuck the Master Emerald into like a million pieces and Knuckles needs to find them. Eggman came and he brought a huge robot army with him. He has the Master Emerald, Knuckles. He stole it. Damn, Eggman's gonna pay for this. Come on, guys. There's no time to waste. We have to get that Master Emerald back. He went that way. I don't think he can have gotten that far. Well, that's good to hear, at least. Okay, let's do this. 6,000 rings and Heron Star rings. And our rank has increased to rank 41. Challenge tokens are stored. Score bonus increased. Are we still on episode 31? Oh yeah we are. 
after that Emerald 2, oh god, it's gonna be a long video. This is gonna be a long video. The Master Emerald has been stolen. Sonic and Co need to find Dr. Eggman and get it back. If our previous scrapes with Eggman are anything to go by, he's going to be surrounded by powerful robots. You can count on it. Huh, so what? I don't care how many robots I have to smash to smithereens. So I guess Knuckles is in the mood. All that's left is to actually run through this stage and get to the Eggman. So I guess we got some more rings, so I'm going to utilize the sub character again. I'm going to go for the Cyan, I'm going to go for the combo bonus, I'm going to go for the invincibility. Actually no, I'm going to go for the drill. Actually no, I'm going to go for the magnet. We just need to collect all the fragments and put the Master Emerald back together. Come on guys, let's do this. Always with the putting the Master Emerald back together. Can't you just like lock the Master Emerald in a container that Eggman can't break? You know, like for an expensive Emerald, it sure is breaking a lot, you know. Aren't Emeralds supposed to be like really hard or maybe that's diamonds? Is there is there a difference between emeralds and diamonds? I don't even know. I don't really live that luxury life enough to actually know. Anyway. Ooh, red ring. It's been a while since I got one of Ooh, two! It's been a serious one. Oh, whoa! Man, I finally got two red rings in one go and I missed the second one. Stupid spring was on the way. Now I need to get that one. But I don't care if I have to run into the spring. I'm getting that red ring. Speeding up like a boss, like a knuckles boss. I'm getting into this cannon. I'm shooting through this cannon like a boss. Getting that magnet like a boss. Everything like a boss right now. Yes. This is the Doremi way. This is how we do it. We hit that ramp like a what? You know what I'm gonna say. Even when we die, we're dying like a boss. There we go, onto the higher route. Get those root bonus points. Whoops, I didn't go through the dash ring. Kinda hoped that would happen. There we go, got ourselves a whistle I remember in the original Sonic Colors, if your drill wisp ran out and you were in the ground, you were dead instantly. I guess in this game they made it a bit easier. It automatically just brings you out if you run out of time. I wasn't sure they did that, so I never tried. But when I was on the iPad, playing on my friend's iPad this game, I decided to test it out, and yeah, they do bring you out automatically, so it's all good. Alright, I think that was the second Eggman. Wait, that's our second Eggman and my score is higher than usual. Is it a root bonus thing? What did I do to get my score higher than usual? I have no idea. It's, it's honestly a fluke thing. I feel like a one-hit wonder right now. Nice. Oof. No. Alright. I don't know what I did to get my score that high already. Usually it takes me until top speed before I'm at like 100,000 points. Ooh, that ring chain was... Maybe it's the companions. Like, did I change my companions? I don't even remember. Alright, I need some rings. There we go. Woof. Alright, so far so good. I don't think we died yet. I don't remember.
Let's just try and make it to the third egg man without a death. Whoops! Whoa! Always Premi's got to jinx it. Always Premi's got to jinx his luck. Anyway, we did all right. We didn't lose a life or anything. Here we go. I didn't even get the red ring or Eggman. That was terrible. Okay, the video is just about to hit an hour. Top speed missile. Top speed missile action is just too crazy. Oh. Oh yeah, we still got Chip. He's gonna take us to like 4,500 or something. Forty six hundred. Oh, close. We still got two lifelines. That's cool. I think this is going to be a good score. You know, I don't want to jinx it like I keep doing in this whole playthrough, always jinxing myself. But just judging by the score at the top right now, I think it's going to be a good score. I don't know what I did differently, but something was done. Oh, God, I jinxed it. Oh, God, I jinxed it. Let's just try, try and make it to 200,000 points. Come on! There we go. If we can make it past halfway on the episode map, I'm happy. Because that was a decent run. 5,200 meters. We got the companion bonus, we got the player bonus. Finally, a decent run. We got the root bonus to help us out. I guess it, the root bonus did help. I guess we did do enough to get a 50%. But I need to get a 100% root bonus. Which I have gotten multiple times before, but I don't remember trying any much harder to get them or anything. It's a neck bomb. Kablam! You're on fire today, huh, Knuckles? Sure am. And I won't stop until I get the Master Emerald back. Got ourselves a thousand rings. Really not enough rings to sustain using the sub character though. Got ourselves a free shield. And we just made it up to about two points on the episode map. I'm thinking two more runs and we should be able to get to the Eggman. So we're gonna go again. We've got enough rings to do two more runs, so we'll equip the laser. The shield, the drill. Yeah, that's about right. Tap the screen for the magnet effect. Ramp action, yeah. Thanks to the wisp, we're already like, already like five seconds away from our first egg breath. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. On the dots. I feel like using vector for this. We haven't showcased enough vector in this playthrough. Get that red ring.
Alright, looks like we've massacred Eggman enough. He's off now. That was our first speed up. Now let's utilize Vector for a while. Nice! A gliding crocodile though. Would you believe it in real life? Like, Vector is literally like gliding and killing enemies in the air while he glides. Not to mention the fact that he's wearing shoes, but I mean, every Sonic character is pretty much wearing shoes, so we'll, we'll let that one slide. Imagine seeing a gliding crocodile in real life. People would be so scared. Alright, second egg man, that was quite quick. Ooh, I jumped on the spring and hit him at the same time. That's how it's done. There we go, there we go. Alright, cool. This time I want the red ring. There we go. Because I'm not spending any more physical cash on red rings. I spent enough red rings trying to get Team Chaotix in the first place. I'm not in the mood for that anymore. So, and I'm going to need red rings for continues. So I need to make sure I use them, you know, effectively. And not waste them. So, yeah. I don't think I'll be spinning on the roulette wheel for a long, long time. Unless they bring another character, in which case... I'll probably tell myself I'm not going to do it because it's terrible and the odds are stacked against me. And then still end up doing it because I've got terrible self-control. Oh god. Oh, I really wanted to hit that asteroid. Ooh, I wanted to hit that ramp and I jumped over it and I died. No, please don't. Wait, what? What? I was gonna land on a bouncy thing, the, the, the spring, and then... Well, that sucks. And my score isn't looking as good as it was last time. That's bad. I guess I haven't been taking the high road as, as much as I should've. I mean, since I tried Sonic in the Knuckles levels, I'm thinking I should try Tails as well. Maybe, maybe Tails is the one. Because I'm just, I'm finding it hard to believe that the power characters are actually that good. I'm, I'm struggling to believe that. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But speaking of power characters, I still think that at top speed, Knuckles is faster than Sonic. I still think that's happening. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like to me that Knuckles is faster than Sonic. So let me know what you guys are seeing in the comment section. Is Knuckles faster than Sonic at top speed? Because I think it is. I'm just so glad that I've been hitting top speed consistently for like, you know, after all the struggles we used to have trying to hit top speed. I'm just so glad we've gotten to a point where top speed is like a guarantee kind of Always jinxing it, Premi. Oh, how am I supposed to glide through that? They don't give me enough glide amount to do that. I mean, I said I'll do this episode map in three runs, right? So I think there's the second run. Hopefully one more run should be enough. Wait, what? What? Screenshotting that. What was I saying? Oh yeah, what? How did I... I knew it, I knew it. We, remember how we said that there was a root bonus under the score? Yeah, 
So there's two root bonuses. There's a root bonus under the score and there's a root bonus below everything. The root bonus below everything is what we actually need. I don't know what's different between the two of them and how we choose which one we want to get. But when you get the bottom one, it literally multiplies your score. So yeah, that would explain it. We still haven't hit a mil yet, but I mean I have hit a mil before, but not on camera, so I'll try and hit a million on camera. I mean we still got according to some people it's 50 episodes, so we still got quite a while to hit a million on camera. Anyway. Another egg pawn, and this time it's a super one. It's like they memorized the names of all these egg pawns. Out of my way. Yeah. One knuckles. <laughs> Plenty more where that came from. Oh, I'm just looking at my score right now. I was so close to getting to Eggman, but just a little bit away. All right, since I was so close. Wait, how close was I? One, two, two, yeah, that's easy. Since we were so close, I'm not going to use a sub character because I want to save the rings. I'm running out of rings right now. So I'm just going to go without a sub character and hopefully just get 112,000 points without the need to use a red ring or five red star rings. But if, if needed, I will use the red star rings. But 122,000 points is really nothing, so... Ooh, and then I jinx it again. This is like, out of all of the parts I've recorded for this playthrough, this has got to be the worst part when it comes to jinxing things. Ooh, I wanted to hit that drill. Whoa, I missed the cannon. Shouldn't have jumped. I thought I was going to jump right into it, and instead... I just went right over it. I need to pay attention to those combo bonuses as well. Those are probably going to get me a lot of points. I wonder how many things I've repeated since I started recording. I'm worried that I'm repeating too many things, I'm not sure. Because I've been recording this playthrough for quite some time now. And the game can be a bit repetitive. I think I'm going to have to record some Sonic Heroes after this. I need to upload the final part of Team Sonic. And I need to start Team Dark. I might record Team Dark right after this episode is done. You know, just spice things up a bit because I miss Sonic Heroes. That was supposed to be the first playthrough on my channel that I finished. But because Sonic Runner just came out of the blue and now it's a new game, I was like, you know, let me play through that first. So I kind of put Sonic Heroes on a semi-hold, releasing like one a week here and there. But I really need to get back to it. I was listening to my commentary from the first Sonic Heroes videos. It really wasn't the best. I think over these few weeks I've improved a bit. So it'll be, it'll be good to start recording Team Dark with the new and improved commentary, I guess. What? I was supposed to land on that enemy and not lose my rings. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. There we go. Ramp action, yep. Yeah. Okay, I missed the dash ring painfully. I was painfully off from that dash ring. Anyway, second Eggman showing up. So we've got two. Run him away like we do. How we do from the south side. From the Angel Island side. Knuckles rap part two, yeah. I'm Knuckles. I shall restore the pieces of the Master Emerald again. Alright, once again I think I'm gonna try and go for the high roads again. I'm gonna start high roading again. Yeah, that was the term I coined. There we go. Whoops. Always when I try and hire her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. 
How many points did I need? A hundred or something? I think I've already gotten that. Yeah, I don't want to waste any red rings or any more time because I should be, have enough points to get to the boss. Plus, this episode has already passed like an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm already good to go. Wait, I got a 100% root bonus. How does this work, man? I don't understand how it works. Like, what, what? I don't know. Like I try. I always try and get the high roads, but it seems like sometimes I get 100% root bonus. Sometimes I get 50. I can't control it because I don't fully understand it. Someone needs to explain that to me so I can get you know better scores. Anyway, hmm. Are you trying to tell me something, little eggplant? What have you found? Kablam! He's found a fist to the face. What the? Huh. Looks like we caught up with you at last, Eggman. Now, hand over that emerald and make it snappy. Well, look who it isn't. Listen, I'm very impressed that you found me so fast, but I can't give you the Master Emerald. It's wasted on ignoramuses like you. Only a genius such as myself is worthy of it. You don't believe me? Let me show you. All right. As usual, we're gonna go to the speed characters for the boss. Because the triple jump is just required, so. Wait, SPS on level 12? What level is Sonic on? Oh, okay, level 35. All right, and then as usual, we replace the top companion with Caliburn. And we'll go for the boss fight. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you can do this in one go. I'm the only one worthy of the Master Emerald. Alright, this video is getting long. Let's hope we can do this within a couple minutes. Ooh, 15 hits. Oh, God, this is getting hard. Alright, Caliburn, do your thing. There we go. Do your thing again. Alright, now it's time. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I was so close to death. Okay, rings, rings, rings. Alright, I may be getting the hang of this. Ooh, that was close. I really want to do this in one go. Oh yeah, I didn't equip the sub character, duh! Duh! That was dumb of me. Guess I'm gonna to have to use red rings now. Or I could get lucky and complete this in one go. Probably gonna talk less now because I need to focus. Oh god! <sighs> oh! Alright, let me just take a breather. Okay, we got a shield. We got a shield, which means we need to def we need to f defeat him before the shield runs out, before it gets hard again. All right, two more hits. The shield is running out. All right, one more hit. We are good to go. Come on, come on, hit us with the yellow ball. There we go. Like a semi boss, because we used to continue. But according to the game, I'll still get a flawless egg. Because we flawless dog. Alright. Could someone explain these these things? Restores up to 750 rings. So I don't understand. So if I get hit by something during the game, are they gonna give me 750 rings? I don't understand that wisp at all. Not wisp, that companion. Someone needs to explain that to me because I really don't get it. I was using it for so long and I didn't really Anyway. No. No! Another defeat! It's almost too much to take. Oh, don't commit suicide, Eggman. We still love you. You might want to think again about who's worthy of the Master Emerald, Eggman. I think we just proved it ain't you. <laughs> yeah, now hand it over. 
Never the Master Emerald is mine, and I won't let you get your fury mitts on it. Oh man, he escaped. Can't you fly tails? Can't you chase after him? And he took the Master Emerald with him. No, you're not getting away. Kerblam! This way he splits it into pieces or something. Uh oh. Here we go. So that's a rehash of Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, the list goes on. There we go, Master Emerald Fragment. Oh no, Knuckles smashed the Master Emerald to pieces. Again. Look what you've done, you fool. What possible use could I have for it now? Well, no more reason to hang around here, I guess. So long, suckers. Knuckles, what have you done? And what are we going to do now? Hey, don't sweat it. You really think the Master Emerald is that fragile? Nah, something else is going on. Anyway, let's go pick up the pieces. Got ourselves 6,000 rings. And 10 red star rings. They really start giving us 30 though. And our rank has increased. Challenge tokens restored. Swarm has increased. We're at rank 42. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this part. It's been what part 17? And we did episode 30 and 31. And this is like probably the longest part yet. You know, I thought it wasn't going to be too long after the first episode was quite short. But then the second episode had two parts in it and it got really long. Anyway, please like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the video. And subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We're going to be dropping part 18 soon. And yeah, we've also got Mario games coming to our channel and other games as well. So stay tuned for that. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like that. And yeah, thanks you guys for watching. It's been real. Remy out.